Well, the walk is a way of 16th annual Pet Value Walk for Dog Guides being held at Tuthope Park on September 29th of this year. It's important to have this walk because not only does it help individuals like myself, for those who are listening or viewing, I am completely blind. So they not only train dogs for people who are visually impaired or blind, they also train dogs for people who are deaf, hard of hearing, uh, individuals in wheelchairs, people with seizure disorders, diabetic alert dogs for people with type 1 diabetes, autism assistant dogs, and their newest one are facility support dogs. So these dogs come in and provide emotional support for high emotional situations like children who are testifying in courts. And since the Lions Foundation is not sponsored by the government, they don't receive a dime. All money raised goes directly to the care, feeding and training of these dogs. And this is their main fundraising event. And it's important because they need a good budget to make sure that all these dogs are trained because it's about $35,000 per dog to be trained. Polly is my fifth dog. She is three years old. She just turned three in August 6th. And I've been working with the Lions Foundation in terms of being matched with the dog for 30 years this September, so next month. And I, these dogs continuously amaze me. They get better all the time and they're just, not only do they provide me a safe way to travel, but they're also my best friend and a constant companion. Since the uh, COVID pandemic, it's a little longer to wait for a dog guide. It's up to 18 months. And prior to that, it was usually maybe six months, maybe a year. And my fourth dog guide died unexpectedly of July, or I'm, uh, pardon, of um, March of 23. And since they had people who were willing to fund me a dog or to sponsor me for a dog, I was promoted to the top of the list and I received Polly six months later. But that's usually not the case. It's usually anywhere from a year to 18 months to get your next dog guide. And for those who are waiting for these dogs, it's so important that this money is raised so that maybe this wait time can be shortened and we can get more people matched and more people who feel more safe to travel, more safe in their home. Because these dogs, not only do they literally save our lives, but they emotionally save our lives because they just become your best friend or your, for me, my canine kid. Being without a dog is a very frustrating, lonely, isolating experience. And it's sort of like for people who might have their license pulled. Oh, well, you can't get around as well when you don't, aren't able to drive a car and you can't get around as well when you're using a cane. Because canes are good, but canes might not pick up on some of the things that the dog will. Each one of them have their own personality, but when it comes right down to it, they're all labs. So she is very playful and she's a bit more of an independent. She has some qualities of my other dogs, like she's a counter jumper and a garbage sniffer. She's very smart, just like most of my other dogs. And while well, the dogs are smart, of course, but she, she learned how to take the lids off my sealed down garbage garbage cans, so we had to put a brick on top of it. So that's where she's smart. She's my first yellow lab, so that's the big difference. I normally am matched with females, and she's, my God, for her, she's much more of an independent and likes to get things going and get going when, she's, when she is walking. And she loves to uh, kind of have that personality to stop and sniff the flowers. Now, they're not really supposed to sniff and harness, so that's the big difference with her and but she is good at what she does when she is focused and she loves to work when when the harness is on it does change people's lives it makes us more independent it might get us out there into the workforce help us provide a sense of purpose a sense of peace of mind our own independence and i always tell people you might not know anyone now, but later on in your life, you may know someone who may need this dog. So wouldn't it be great to help promote it now so that in the future, a member of your family, a friend, or even a colleague at work might benefit from the money you're raising now.